Welcome back. I'm probably wondering how I got here. That's really cool looking. Preview, I admit for that. Spatula. I do like that you get like pictures for each of these spatulas. That is a nice detail. It would be really nice if those bosses were actually there. But maybe that's just asking for too much. Okay, let's actually fight the Dutchman this time. I think we've seen about at least most of what there is to be seen here. Phase one last don't tell me that game. Jeez, calm down. I how it's not like that's hard to notice or find out what you have to do. Also, I do think I I did briefly at one point review footage of this fight in the original, and I do think that the Dutchman was actually transparent in the original, wasn't he? If he was, I have no idea why he wouldn't be in this version. Like, again, I, I understand that making 3D things transparent is actually legitimately really tough. But if they managed to do it in the original, they should probably be able to do it in this version too. I get the has more polygons, so that might make it harder. I wonder if they have like different names for the phases. Is there anything? It's weird. It didn't hurt me and I fell into it. There's really like different names for the phases and whatnot since it's still the same thing. By the way, a nice little detail of, or a detail that would be nice to include in this game would be being able to refight the mini bosses too. I don't think this game lets you do that. Well, it doesn't even let you refight the major bosses in, a current, in its current state, but. That is one thing I would have asked for, a small thing I would have asked for in, in a remake of this game, be able to refight the bosses. I was always bummed out that you couldn't reduce all these fights. Not that they're usually that big of a deal than mini bosses, like this one, you can see just dodge this attack a few times and dodge the next attack and then last one. And now in this version, he even tells you what to do. I and mean, you would see that you, had, you could last on him anyways, as you're dodging that one attack, since or those attack at least is vulnerable. Sense. That looks really cool. Yeah, the game, I, it's not much of a way to not see that you can lasso him as, as you're behind him when he's doing that attack that leaves him open. It's kind of funny to me. The boss fight in the, or the cutscene in the industrial park plays music from the Dutchman's Graveyard, and the boss, in, or the cutscene after the boss in the Dutchman's Graveyard plays music from the other area. From... In the industrial park. Anyways, so that's that. <laughs> that looked really cool though, admittedly, the the fire as Sandy was in that in the beginning of that cutscene. Okay, well. So there's nothing left to do here. The Dutchman even goes away. I think I forgot about that. Bam! Bam! But yeah, there's literally nothing left to do here, right? Nothing to do. Okay, in that case, back to the bottom. And, oh. What's left to do in the game? <laughs> I forgot, this is the last area. Uh, whoops. So, we are shorter on objects than we were before, really, which May I? is a bit of a bummer. Uh, I, I am kind of imposing a bit of a challenge on myself and not updating because we're going to have to get some shiny objects somehow. Like, I should probably be breaking all these stickies as I pass by them. 
beyond that, of course we have plenty of socks to turn in. Not all of them. Uh, do we have other socks here? We do. We're missing, of course, two things here in Jellyfish Fields. We're missing a spatula in downtown and a sock. The sock comes with a spatula, I think. And are I missing anything else anywhere else? I don't think so. It's kind of annoying how these are so non-linear. There are things I like about this pause menu a lot, and things I don't like about it compared to the original. But anyways, um, I guess we'll run through Jellyfish Fields. I mean, should I go through Jellyfish Fields trying to actually like, get shiny objects along the way? I don't know if I should because it feels like that might be kind of a waste of time. Because what you should do for shiny objects is actually grind for them somehow. But I don't know how to grind for them. Because, like, you, you can't destroy a bunch of things at once anymore. This is why I don't go outside. Ever. Oh, man, I haven't been here since the live stream, I think. Like, I could just run along and destroy everything along the way. And the usual ways of, of grinding don't really work because your combo bonus is so, so small. That's pretty much. Can that thing still shoot like stuff out as it's being destroyed? Looks like it can. Like that always bugged me in the original. Just, I have an instinct to try to get out of bounds everywhere now that I know that I can. But, it always bugged me in the original that duplicatrons could show, still shoot out enemies as they're in the middle of exploding. the rest of that pedicure now, sir? What are you talking about? My feet are fine! Okay. How about the rest what? And for old time's sake, just have some fun on here. Is it missing us to sand now instead of rock like it originally was, I think? Random design change. Not a battle, though, I think. Just kind of a random one. Alright, the, the gaining of shy objects is fairly slow here. Naturally. If I'm destroying stuff along the way. I'm gonna have to do some thinking. I think I have to do some experimentation to see how I can get shiny objects here. I I, I haven't been paying much attention to what got me shiny objects as I was going along. Oh yeah, I'm gonna probably have to upgrade this dispatch if I wanna do this. I don't think I do wanna do that. It's like I was gonna do this without taking the taxi, but I think I should probably just go. Go up here. I can drop back on town to to where that sock is. Oh wait, I skipped the the bubble sock. Whoops. Nicely done, little yellow friend. Thanks. Interesting. But there's not as much students break potential anywhere, I don't think, or out of bounds potential anywhere that I can't play a sandy anyways. So I don't think I'll do too much of that here, SpongeBob. Not that we can't break the game of SpongeBob too. God, it still makes that sound! Forgot about that. I have not forgot on the other hand. Goodbye! Whoa, who knows that goes there? I have not, on the other hand, forgot about this thing here. And hearing that fanfare every single time. I fell off. Jeez, there are lots of tartars here. I wish you could just still just like blow this thing up next to some things. How'd that work? Do you not give you many shy objects now? And the main thing I guess that gives you shy objects is some combos, but well I guess some CDs like stone tiggies and shush tiggies do give you some uh, shy objects. Like how much do I get from these shush tiggies down here? Oh, these shush tiggies down here. Not that much actually. It's not these ones. Stone Tiggies might be another matter. Very bit of suspicious geology that I see now, I think to myself, ooh, can I do something here? Uh, but I want to take a look at Stone Tiggies as well, because I know there's some over here. Right. 
I believe there are. Right over here. I think this is actually where you guys introduce the Storm Dickies, isn't it? Tartars are not giving me shy optics either. Let's take this here. That did not give me. Sh I feel like those things gave me a lot more shiny objects in the original. I feel like you tend to get a lot more shiny objects from like stone tiki's, or unless I mean, there might be something that changed. Ooh, how much does that get me? Three, four, seven. Okay, so that was almost six hundred shiny objects. Where is the closest place I can respawn to here? If I can respawn right next to here, this actually might be a viable place. I'd, I'd have to listen to the fanfare every time. But I could potentially... I didn't press that, thank you. Use this as a spot for grinding shy objects just because it has all those stone tiggies I can blow up at once. That's actually really convenient. Yeah, that's that's an idea for grinding. I, it would be pretty slow going compared to the original and you know, what you can do in the Lagoon. But it, it's an idea. Uh, that's probably about the closest place. To uh, the next stock here. The one that you get with the bubble ball. I, I honestly appreciate that these cans respawn though. <laughs> Things that permanently go away in long games like this one always make me sad, so the cannons coming back is nice. But the me boss is coming back would also be nice. Whoops, wrong way. If I remember right, for some reason I felt like I kind of actually threatened by this cannon when I first played this game. Oh, look at you. You're, you're enticing me to go places you probably shouldn't, game. You, you... Just remember, you led me up here. This is your fault. If I can... If I manage to do anything silly here. I feel like I could. But... At the moment, I think I've done... About enough in terms of, like, sleep breaking of things. Ah, oh, that looks really close. If I can just get a better first jump, because I tend to get messed up a little bit there. But whatever. I've done plenty of things of that nature this episode. This episode tonight. Last couple episodes. I just want to get that sock up here. There's nothing like the smell of <laughs> bubbles in the morning. <laughs> Smells like I didn't think I was gonna hit him. I was thinking I was gonna save this dude. Just met the Sponginator. Okay. Physics. Wait, I'm kind of curious now. Oh, it's probably not a legal move. Okay. Random geometry I can stand on. That's a dangerous thing, having the random geometry people can stand on. Alright, so next thing downtown, up in Spire. I appreciate that they even call this something to tell you. You have to come back later. Although it's kind of weird that it's the only spatula in the game you have to come back for later. But anyways, oh man, I love hearing this music. That is not allowed. What are you doing? What's that? Like that in the original? Like there being little things you could stand on down there? In those holes? I don't think that was the case. Truck, get out of the way. In fact, I probably don't have to go around the outside here. I can probably just 
take the doors on the inside. Whoops. That's embarrassing. Who? Oh. New dialogue. How I slow that. Okay. Hopefully that G level will leave me alone. I don't remember that thing being so far away. Jeez. I remember there being something that indicated that that was there a bit better. Oh, the spatula doesn't even appear until... You, uh... Okay, nothing indicated that appeared there, but... Okay. The spatula doesn't even appear until... You hit the button. That's a good design choice. That was not the case in the original. Um, are there not supposed to be like platforms here? There's a platform there. Hey! Uh, uh, if Sandy hits something while she's lassoing, or while, she, while she's on a hook, she'll... Uh, she'll let go. This is the place to do it. I mean, you gotta make it. You know what? This is the time. The time is now. The place is now. This is where we're gonna do it. Yes! Nothing much special happened, though. But we've done it! We've proved it can be done. That's what happens. Well, that's what happens if you fall. Actually, geez, there aren't really any possibility or any chance to do that anymore. That's what happens at least if you have Hans get you. If you fall out of bounds while you're. <laughs> physics! Not even. Or lack thereof! It's not even physics. But. So that's what happens if you fall, you have a spatula. I imagine it's, it's similarly unceremonious if you fall into a goo while you have... Oh, no, I didn't press that while picking up a spatula. Alright, so I have one last little thing to do next episode that I haven't done yet. Otherwise, I need to check how many episodes I've recorded tonight. I think I recorded four, maybe? We'll see. But uh, after that, um, we'll just have to figure out how, how to approach life from there. Ah, bye everyone.